residents and tourists alike enjoy beautiful Maine summers, but could that summer heat that we've all waited for all winter negatively impact our mental health? Good question. So here with us to discuss is Sweetser spokesperson Justin Jeanette. And so Justin, is there a connection between heat or even the weather and our mental health? Absolutely. So I found this very fascinating. There's actually a psychological response to high temperatures. And we see study after study all points in the same direction that there is a correlation between high temperatures and an increase in suicidality, as well as an increase in hospitalization for those with mood disorders like depression. So absolutely, to answer your question, there is a connection between your mental health and the high temperatures. Yeah, interesting. So what kind of symptoms does it cause in people? What can you notice? It's sort of like when you're overheated, you're going to be more agitated and irritable in general, right? That's going to impact your mood, your desire to and motivation to do just everyday tasks. Um, it's also going to increase your stress and anxiety. It tends to exacerbate those things. And, and it also impacts your sleep. You know, if you don't have air conditioning at night and it is hot, you're gonna have trouble sleeping, right? And we know how important sleep is to your overall wellness and well being. So, sleep is so important. So, what we see is high temperatures, particularly prolonged exposure to mm -hmm. high temperatures and heat, absolutely exacerbate existing mental health conditions in addition to creating new ones. So, it's something to be mindful of. Yeah, it sounds like physical health often impacts mental health. Yes. So, what can people do to stay cool, both? in temperature yeah. and in their mental health. Because we want everyone to enjoy Maine summer, course, right? We don't want to yes. say don't go outside because yeah. there's lots of benefits to the sun. There's lots of benefits that we see in being out in nature. So a couple things that you might be familiar with already. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, whether indoor or outdoor. So important. Drink plenty of fluids. Um, at the same time, try to stay cool. You know, if you don't have air conditioning at home, maybe you need a fan. Maybe you have a, a fan blowing on you. And if for some reason it's just too hot at home, particularly in the heat of the day, maybe there's a cooling center that your community has, has started. Maybe it's a community center that you can go to or a public library. What about a dip in the pool, a dip in the ocean, a lake, a river, a body of water? That's always helpful. Um, at the same time, it's just important um, to find that shade if you're out walking outside. Um, I always do that. I burn like a crisp, so it's always <laughs> good to find that shade when you can and, and limit your physical exertion when outdoors in the summertime. Yeah, taking care of our bodies and taking care of our minds. We love it. We love it. All right, Justin, thank <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it.